One going in. Little Heron completes the line. The seven fillies are ready and they're off. A little bit slow to go as Art of Five Seven, only a couple of lengths behind them as they break away for the Burroughs Mazda York Phillies Novice Stakes over a mile and a quarter. Winter Life in the blue and white, the grey is the first to show. Danielle is handy on the inside, the hot favourite, racing in third place behind the other grey, which is Cabrera in second place, the maroon and beige colours. Back in fourth then, the maroon jacket of Little Heron is up on the outside of Somebody Come Ghetto, is racing in the dark blue and red colours. They're followed by the newcomer Lady de Fay in the beige and dark blue, and the bat marker in the orange, yellow and black is Artificer, held up by Rhys Clutterbuck at the tail of the field. Well down the far side they go. They've covered the first three and a half furlongs, and on the inside it's Winter Life in the blue and white, who leads Cabrera in second place. Danielle covered up in third on the inside, the odds-on favourite, the black and white halves with the red cap. Behind those, on the inside, somebody come get her. Wider out is Little Heron in the maroon colours, the filly with the white face, and they're followed by Lady de Fay and Cliff Lee, and the bat marker remains Artificer in the orange. Now they're turning left-handed towards the side of the course and heading for the final five furlongs. So at a halfway point, the leader is Winter Life by one length to in second place Cabrera. Danielle still tracking the leader in third. She's followed out wider by Little Heron in fourth place and then comes the other grey, somebody come get her. Followed by Lady Le Fay who's up on the outside and the bat marker remains Artificer. Inside the final half mile they go. The pace is increasing all the while. The leader is Winter Life. Danielle is on the inside, has got racing room. Wider out Cabrera every chance. Ridden along his little heron to try and get closer as they head inside the final two and a half furlongs. Danielle coming there strongly for Rab Havlin, the red cap now, to come and take over, and she's going great guns. Danielle, she goes on to Cabrera in second place. Farside Artificer's keeping on quite well. Lady Lafay is now staying on into third place but Danielle is con in complete control here and she's just sauntering clear Danielle look at this one open up she's gone seven or eight lengths ahead and he's not asking her at all Robert Havlin here she is going to coast home the daughter of Cracksman is going to break the maiden in some style for Anthony Oppenheimer and John and Thady Gosden a very impressive success she's torn them to shreds here Danielle look at that wins easily second Cabrera third was Lady Le Fay, and fourth was somebody come get her Really impressive start to the afternoon here at Weatherby, courtesy of Danielle under Rab Havlin for John and Thirdy Gosden. Rab, that was quite taking. You must have been impressed as well. Yeah, look, um, she obviously ran just over two weeks ago. Uh, she, she's come on plenty since then. We thought she'd be a decent filly on turf, and we we're pretty sure she'd handle the ground. She's got quite a wide gate on her, like a lot of those cracksmen have. And um, yeah, she's, she's still quickening up and through the line, so you've got to, um, got to be impressed. So what's the thing that's made the biggest difference today then? The switch to turf or specifically to soft ground? What's your feeling on that? She handles soft ground very well. I'm not saying she needs soft ground, yeah. but she handles it very well. And she's improved from a from a run two weeks ago. You know, she, she got run down by a filly that had had a run previously. So um, it, it was a good, uh, a good start off point. You know, she had a good blow after the race. She's improved, but to say she was always going to be a filly that would improve markedly when she got on turf. And she's got a good pedigree. She's got quite a strong staying pedigree. Will she improve again up in trip? She'll stay a mile and a half, no problem. Um, I think that's probably where the boss will be looking next day. And uh, let's hope she can keep improving. Do you think she'll be good enough to have a go at uh, an, an Oaks trial now? Yeah, the, probably one of the, the right ones. Um, but we have to see how she comes out the race. Yeah. Obviously, she's, she probably had a harder race the last day at Chelmsford than she did today. But, you know, she went through the gears a lot better today at Chelmsford. And I think if that filly... Yeah, today had been at Chelmsford, she'd have probably won quite easily. So um, she's improved a lot since that day. And, you know, I think we'll be looking at mile and a half races. And, you know, I'll leave it to the boss to see whether he wants to run her in, in, in a trial and, and, and where that would be. Yeah, leave it to him. But uh, worth the trip, but well done. Thanks. Now on RacingTV.com.